In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way that you can draw ray diagrams for a plane mirror, which is not terribly helpful for understanding the physics of it, but is very quick to do in exams compared to the main method. For this method, you will need a ruler, a set square, and a pencil. So once you've got those equipment, then you're ready to have a go. So to, for this quick method, is I sometimes call it the cheat method, we're going to use the idea that we know what the answer is already, that the image is going to be the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front. So to set this up, I'm going to use my set square neatly lined up with the mirror to make sure that a ruler that I have is exactly perpendicular to the mirror. And then I'm going to use my ruler to measure the distance that the object is in front of the mirror. And if I do that, I can see that the object is about 69 millimeters in front of the <coughs> uh, mirror. So then I need to measure out a distance exactly the same behind. So if I double 69, that's going to give me 138. So I'm going to say that I know, having marked that out, that the image is going to be there. So what I can do then is I've cheated. I know what the answer is of where the image forms. So now what I'm going to do is take the set square away and I'm going to draw a <coughs> ray from that starts off as a virtual ray from the, where I know the image has formed. And then when I get to the mirror, I'm going to change that into a real reflected ray going into the eye. I'm going to draw in the incident ray coming from the object that has created that reflected ray. And then I'm going to do that same process again for a second ray. So line up the ruler with the image and another bit of the eye, draw in a dotted virtual ray until I get to the mirror, then draw in a solid real reflected ray, and then add in the incident ray that created that reflected ray, and it will look like that. And now, by doing that, I have made sure that for each of my incident and reflected rays, that the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are the same. If I drew in a normal there, I'd find that the angle of incidence and angle of reflection were the same. And if I drew in a normal here, I would find that the angle of incidence and angle of reflection are the same. And here and here, here and here, and by, but by doing this uh, so-called cheat method, I've managed to construct that ray diagram very quickly, and I didn't even need to use my protractor. 